Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 7th of June. I'm James Spann. Beautiful weather for much of the state today as dry air arrived as promised, and much of the state will likely stay dry through the weekend. But next week, moisture comes back. Let's check things out. There's the water vapor satellite view this afternoon, troughing over the eastern states that pulled down the dry air last night. One lone shower over central Alabama at 232. Can you find it? It's over Coosa County, just a little southeast of Rockford, and that won't last long. And again, most locations around here will be dry for a while. Feels pretty good. Temperatures only in the low 80s and upper 70s despite a sunny sky. It's 81 at Birmingham, 77 for Fort Payne and Coleman. Those temperatures are below average for June in Alabama. And the dew points have come way down. Look at Fort Payne. They've got a dew point of 43. That's amazingly dry air for June. Dew point at Tuscaloosa is down to 55. Many spots will drop into the 50s early tomorrow morning. Around the nation, there's the watch morning map. We do note we have a tornado watch in effect up north for parts of Minnesota and North Dakota. But generally speaking, things are fairly quiet around the nation today. This is the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Got a marginal risk over the Florida Peninsula and one over the parts of the Great Plains, the western states. Tomorrow on day two, we have a slight risk for parts of Montana. A marginal risk all the way down into parts of the Texas Panhandle. And uh, notice in Alabama, you see a little green strip there for the eastern part of the state. There's evidence the lobe coming through the upper trough might kick off a shower or storm over far east Alabama tomorrow afternoon, but most of the state will be dry. And on day three, which is Friday, we're dry, marginal risk well to the north. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week, about one half inch for the north, higher amounts down to the south, and again, mostly dry conditions here through Sunday. Showers and storms will come back early next week on Monday and Tuesday, but they should be fairly scattered in nature. And the tropics, very quiet, as is often the case in early June. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the 12Z run. This is valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Deep, deep troughing over the eastern states. And down below that, a little lobe coming down the backside of that trough could kick off a few scattered showers across the um, Appalachian Mountain region from uh, east and northeast Alabama up into parts of West Virginia. But around here, the air is so dry, we just don't expect much. This is the high-res NAM, valid tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. And you see a few small green specks over the eastern half of the state. We will insert that in the forecast, isolated afternoon showers for east and northeast Alabama. But again, most everybody will be dry. And the high tomorrow, only around 80. Uh, dew point should be down in the 50s, another very comfortable day. Friday, bright sunshine. We start the day in the upper 50s, the high in the mid-80s. Saturday, a sunny day to kick off the weekend. Upper 80s are likely and pretty much the same thing on Sunday. And again, moisture starts to increase. You might consider a slight chance of an afternoon shower, but at this point, we'll leave it dry. But we'll go to Monday of next week. The dew points are up, air unstable, so we'll bring back the chance of a few scattered showers and storms Monday. The better chance during the afternoon and evening hours. Highs in the 80s, and the same thing on Tuesday. Pretty good moisture axis in place, so uh, some sun, scattered showers and storms. Highs mid-80s, most likely. Here's a week from today, Wednesday, June 14th, troughing over the northern states, kind of a flat ridge down here. And again, sufficient moisture for scattered showers and storms. This is the end of the forecast period. Saturday, June 17th, heights a little below average here. And again, that looks pretty typical for mid-June, partly sunny, maybe an afternoon shower in spots. The numbers, highs mostly in the 80s. Cool mornings tomorrow morning and Friday morning, but next week will be warmer with lows right around 70 most mornings. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.